Day 50, 18th of July. It was freezing cold this morning. Larry did not want to get out of bed, so I made a cup of tea and went for a walk. Then promptly went back to get the camera. This place is stunning as the sun is just hitting the mountain tops. Then I had to go back again to get new batteries as the camera shut down on the first photo I took. So much for letting Larry have a sleep as we have to slam the door to get it closed. He's probably calling me Bang Crash Ivan by now. Well, I took a bunch of spectacular, albeit a bit dark, photos of the mountains around our campsite, and it finally warmed up enough for the boy to get out of bed, or he just plain gave up. We're about 40 k's north of Lake Louise. We're at Bow Lake, a little bit north of Lake Louise. We headed to Lake Louise, which we soon discovered was a bad choice for the day. Today is Canada Parks Day and everyone is encouraged to get out and use the parks. The traffic was completely insane. What made it that little more difficult was that people were parking the vehicles wherever they could slightly fit. So a two-way road narrowed to a one-way road in several places. Real fun for anyone driving a 22-foot RV. We queued for two kilometres just to get to the car park, which was full, but did have a sensible one-way traffic system to make it easy. But someone forgot to tell a particular race of people who chose to do their own thing, which of course created havoc. Plan A, Larry drive around in circles while I run to the lake, get the photos and run back. Then we head down to Moraine Lake. But what? The queue is backed up for 14 kilometres. I will find a postcard of that lake. We left Lake Louise and took the 1A Scenic Highway to Banff, which is very beautiful. However, today there was about 1,000 cyclists out enjoying this beautiful route on this beautiful day also, so we had to be extra careful. Castle Mountain. At Banff, we started searching for a park. The first three were full, but then we managed to get to an overflow area. We were the first ones to arrive, but the next morning it was full. We were very happy as we finally had cell phone coverage so we could talk to the family.